Namaste. Namaste. It's very nice to be here on the third satsang evening in Vana. Uh, we've been having a series that started yesterday, so I'm going to give you the story so far for those of you joining today. <laughs> yesterday we looked at the idea of uh, the elements and we explored the idea of earth and water. Uh, in how Kabir evokes this body as a ghada, an earthen pot made of the five elements. So today, we're going to turn on the heat and start with fire. So there are many ways in which the element fire is evoked in Kabir and other mystics. Let's start with this, which may be familiar. Jhon tel mahi tel hai yonji Jhon chak mak me a So, fire, Aag here, Kabir says, like oil in a seed, like fire in flint, your Lord God is in you. Wake up to that if you can. So, Shuruat Mehi, the the word, the idea of fire is evoking the divine, the truth within us. So, this first song from Rajasthan, Matlab Mehi Hindi Mehi Baat Karun Ke Translate Karun Bilingual Rakhun Mujhe Kuch Samaj Mehi Nia Raha Bilingual Rakhun Na Kuch Kuch Hindi Matlab Atmiyata Bhi Aani Chahiye. तो ये पहला भजन राजस्थान का है हमने महेश्वराम जी से सीखा इन विच इसमें मारवाड़ी में है तो कबीर कहते हैं बाहर कहीं भटके थारो राम हृदय मई बाहर कहीं भटके योर ट्रूथ द डिवाइन इज इन यू व्हाई डू यू वांडर आउटसाइड ऐसा ऐसा हीरला घट मा कहिए जोहरी बिना हीरा कौन पार के there are such jewels and gems in this body, in this body self. But it takes the eye of a jeweler to recognize them. Aisi aisi aag lakadi ma kahiye, ghasiye bina aag kaise nikle. So much fire in this wood. But you'll have to do some work to ignite it. It's latent. It has to... Some work will be needed, some inner work to make it manifest. Esa esa ghrit dood ma kahiye, jhugiye bina makhan kaise nikle. So much uh, ghee latent in the milk, but unless you do some churning, it's not going to rise to the surface. Esa esa kimaad, himade pe jadiya. Guru bina tala kun khole. Such big fat locks on your heart. Without the ignition of the Guru, who's going to open these doors and open these locks? Kahe kabir sa suno bhai sadho thane ram mile kun hatke. If you find this ram, this ram within, then nobody can. Uh, uh, hurt even a, a hair on your head. Then it's not about protecting temples in Ayodhya because your Ram is right here. And that's the strength of conviction that this religion brings, which is not a religion about outward trappings and political games and uh, blame games with demonized others. It's a religion of inwardness. It's a, it's a true religion. 
It's a religion of inner work. is very greasy. This needs to be tighter. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, 
वीर सासुनो भाई साधो कहे हो वीर सासुनो मेरे साधो राम मिले थाने को न हट के हम राम मिले थाने को न हट के थारो राम हृदय मई वाहिर क्यों भट के थारो राम हृदय मई वाहिर क्यों भट के क्यों भट के बाहिर क्यों भट के हाँ क्यों भट के बाहिर क्यों भट के थारो राम हृदय मई बाहिर क्यों भट के थारो थारो राम हृदय मई बाहिर क्यों भट के थारो राम हृदय मई बाहिर क्यों भट के we have uh, bharat mom manjira sound i don't know about outside but in the monitor maybe <clears throat> there is another way in which kabir famously evokes fire kabira khana bazaar mein काठी हाथ जो घर जा रे अपना चले हमारे साथ कबीर सेज आई हैव बर्न डाउन माय हाउस आई हैव द फ्लेमिंग टॉर्च इन हैंड If you have the guts to burn down your house then come walk with me nothing less So what is the fire being evoked here Tak jo ghar ja re wo ubhre Jo ghar ra शंभो जो भी हो मड़ो का खाए दिस इज द पैराडॉक्स कबीर सेस इफ यू बर्न योर हाउस अ न्यू वन अराइजेस इफ यू क्लिंग टू योर हाउस इट स्लिप्स थ्रू योर फिंगर्स आई सॉ सच अ मिरकल सेस कबीर अ डेड मैन ईटिंग टाइम मड़ो काल ने खाए सो यूजली काल इज ईटिंग अस बट इफ यू डाई बिफोर डेथ कैन क्लेम यू देन यू आर ईटिंग टाइम सो दिस इज द फायर ऑफ बर्निंग डाउन your head your ego your in essentials i'm going to retune i'm going to do some retuning in today's concert so take it as a moment to reflect on these words in your body self so uh kabir says in the woman's voice कड़ी जला कोयला भई और कोयला जल भयो है राख मैं यह भागण यू जली ही न कोयला बनी न राख वुड बर्नट एंड टर्न टू कोल कोल बर्नट एंड टर्न टू एश आई रेचिड गर्ल बर्नट सच दैट आई टर्न नाइदर टू कोल nor ash i wonder what this means um uh, burning uh is a form of yearning it's a form of not being content with with what is but it's it's a call for more and kabi takes many pot shots at half baked seekers so here he's uh, he's laughing at himself or not laughing he's he's just feeling so 
uh, he's feeling compassion for himself that, you know, my burning wasn't all the way, all the way that could transform me into something else, not keep one leg on the shore and try and get adrift at the same time. So I want to take you now into the world of a Sufi poet, a Sindhi Sufi poet called Sas, uh, Shah Latif. And he comes, his voice comes to us from that border area between India and Pakistan. And uh, he speaks in the voice of many women of love legends. And this love legend is of Sassi and Punnu. And the reason why I'm taking you to this story is because fire evokes the life of Sassi. Burning evokes the life of Sassi. So Sassi was a girl born in a Hindu Brahmin family. When she was born, her horoscope foretold that she would bring dishonor to her family. So her father set her adrift in a basket as a baby downstream. And uh, downstream, a Muslim dhobi couple, childless couple, found her and raised her as their daughter. And she grew up to be very beautiful, as beautiful as the moon. Sassi means moon. And in the neighboring kingdom of Balochistan, Punnu, the prince of this kingdom, son of Ari Jam, the king, he heard of Sassi's beauty and came looking for her. To cut a long story short, they fell in love and wanted to get married. They did get married. King Ari Jam was outraged at this ill-advised match, and he sent Punnu's brothers to the wedding festivities, pretending that they were going to participate in the, in the festivities. But actually, they had the plot to get him really drunk at night, and they bundled him on camelbacks and took off through the Tharpakar Desert in the dawn hours. Sassi was lying in bed, waiting for her beloved. She fell asleep. When she wakes up in the morning, she finds that her beloved is no longer with her. So this is really, uh, really the story. But the story for Shah Latif begins here, because she sets out with absolutely nothing but her self, with no other resources, in the blazing desert sun, with nothing. And as she's leaving, her friends and her family people say, don't go, you'll die. What do you think? You think you can find? You're on barefoot, and those camels have already gone so far. And she turns to them, and she says, Shartyu aita vinyori vinyola. Girls, you friends, you be on your way. My destiny is written. And what is Sassi's destiny? In, in Beit after Beit, Shah Latif evokes this idea that you are not going to find your beloved sitting on your ass, to excuse uh, an indelicate word in a satsang. But um, you have to keep moving. You have to burn. You have to seek. You have to struggle. And it's so poignant how she says sorrow is the path. And in her poetry, she will say, oh, grief, in your arms, my beloved comes to me. And then she says, I've put out my wares in the market. She's selling sorrow. But there are no takers. People want only happiness. And sh she's. Shalatif is speaking through her and saying, Sur, sorrow, is the path, nothing less. <clears throat> so now you'll hear the Sindhi rag. Mm-hmm. 
वेठो पुछी परा कर काही आरा हलण जे अज आदेसी मरा पर कर कहियार हलन जी यू आर सिटिंग एंड फ्रेटिंग अबाउट द पास्ट गेट अप गेट मूविंग अज आदेसी मर सुबह मरन दो सबको टुडे राइट नाउ सीक अ डाई टुमोरो मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी डाइज वी ऑल हैव अनफिनिश्ड और एजेंडाज फॉर टुमोरो राइट टुमोरो आई डू दिस टुमोरो आई डू दैट नो नाउ गेट मूविंग die today mari ji to maniya jaane bachao jamaan mari ji to maniya jaane bachao jamaan मरी जी तमाणिए जानब जो जमाल डाय टू लिव देन विटनेस द ब्यूटी ऑफ द बिलावेट it has never been that someone glimpsed the beloved sitting in comfort and then she says dukh lago dungar bariyo bhenar khani bhum the mountain brushed against my pain and burst into flames the earth was scorched my path is written and her poetry calls out to the elements in this song she will say hedde sher bhambor mein ai mer miskin ji manyodi manyola listen to the plea of this wretched one this woman from the city of bhambor put shackles on the feet of that those camel backs and shartiu shah latif che shah latif says listen friends i have andar ahe awala unyodi unyola i have in my heart a deep deep yearning thirst uns for you
So the fire that purifies, the fire that turns our alloy into gold, the fire that represents sorrow, suffering. Before we leave Shah Latif, I want to read a poem in translation by him. You know, this is an idiom that's very common to Sufi poetry. Uh, I'm sure you've heard it in other Sufi contexts if you've heard Sufi poetry. Uh, it's the idiom that says, Oh, how did you become who you are? And typically the question is put to some object. It could be a cotton, piece of cotton cloth, and the question is, how did you become a cotton cloth? In this case, uh, apparently, Shah Latif heard the sound of a bell, a cattle bell. And he was intoxicated with the sound because he heard the sound of the beloved. The zikra, kadiya zikra ki awaz unko, उस घंटी में सुनाई दी तो उन्होंने जाके घंटी से पूछा he asked the bell oh bell how do you resound with the beloved sound and this is what the bell says flung into fire i was born out of loss carved out of iron burnt by the blacksmith melted into shape, singed by flames, blisters on my skin, first the pain of separation, then the hammer's blow. Placed on a slab, my head was cut off, patterns carved on my skin with a chisel. With Allah's blessing, a hook was driven into my heart, and in my mouth, a gong was hung. Then, only then, did I chant, says Abdul Latif, the name of the beloved. So why are we so scared of pain? You were saying, the Buddhists say, we pray for sadness. It's, it's, it's material to work with. <clears throat> so now we move to the next element, which is Air. And uh, I'll sing a song from Malva. In this song, uh, Pavan, <coughs> Pavan ka jhonka evokes change. That gust of wind in Kabir always evokes change, transition, things that go away, things get, that get blown away, right? You think everything is all very solid and secure, but along comes a gust of wind and 
things you thought was standing and solid fall or fly away. So Kabir says, actually, this is a poet of the Kabir tradition, Bhavani Nath, and he says, Mat kar maya ko ahankar, mat kar kaya ko ghamand, kaya gar se kachi. Don't be so, so sure and arrogant about uh, your body. It's as fragile as mitti, clay. Don't be deluded by maya, by all the webs of ego delusion you spin around yourself. Um, jhonka pavan ka lag jai, jhapka pavan ka lag jai, kaya dhur ho jasi. One gust of wind in your body will turn to dust. And before that he says it's like an osra moti. It's like a shabnam ka katra. It is a drop of dew that's here, very beautiful, but gone in an instant. Aisa sakht tha maharaj jin ka mulko me naam, jin ghar jhulta haathi, un ghar diya na baati. Such a stern king, ruling over so many lands, in whose courts elephants swayed, but he too was swept away like a drop of dew. Bharya sindhara me tel jaan se rachyo hai sab khel, jal rahi diya ki baati. This lamp was filled with oil, and from that wick, a play unfurled your life. Jal rahi diya ki baati jaise osra moti, but this lamp is burning like a drop of dew. Khunti gaya sindhara ro tel, bikhar gaya sab nij khel, buj gai diya ki baati. And then the oil depletes, and your play, your narrative, scatters. So evidently, he's not just talking about physical death, because our narrative scatters many times in our lives, where we suddenly don't know where we are. Everything that we thought was taken for granted is no longer there. It's gone like a drop of dew. Aha, lal me ka lal tera, kaun kya hawal jin ghar jam le jasi. Oh, you beloved among beloveds, what will happen to you the day jam, the lord of death, comes to take you? Bolya Bhavani Nath, Guruji ne sir pe dhariya haath jin se mukti ho jasi. Bhavani Nath says, the Guru, this wisdom, graced me, put his hand on my head, and I'm, I'm seeing mukti, liberation is close at hand. Jaise osra moti, don't be confident about that liberation too. We've seen many a Guru bite the dust, right? Jhonkashun carry my song sheets away. Mat kar maya ko ehkar mat 
आया को अभिमान खाया गार से गार से काीर जैसे अवसरा मोती ढोंका पवन का लग जाए जब का पवन का लग जाए काया तेरी धूल हो जासी
मूल्य भवानी हो नाच गुरु जिन सिर पे धरिया हाथ जिन से मुक्ति हो जासी जिन से मुक्ति हो जासी जैसे उस रामोती झोंका पवन का लग जाए झप का पवन का लग जाए काया धूल हो जासी कर माया को अहंकार मत कर खाया को अभिमान खाया घर से गाचे काया घर से काची जैसे उस रामोती क्यों का पवन का लग जाए जब का पवन का लग जाए काया धूल हो जासी The other way uh, in which I think air, uh, the element of air can be evoked in mysticism is uh, what comes up in Kabir's song sometimes in the phrase, Pavan ka khamba, a pillar of air. What do you think he is referring to? What is a pillar of air? Our breath. And this famous song of Kabir says, उड़ जाएगा हंस अकेला जग दर्शन का मेला दिस द स्वान सोल विल फ्लाई अवे अलोन दिस स्पेक्टिकल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अ कार्निवल एंड आई थिंक वी कैन थिंक ऑफ द हंस ऑल्सो हम सा एज द ब्रेथ बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट विल फ्लाई अवे लिविंग दिस पांच तत्व का पुतला in in a little pile jaise paat gire taruvar se milna bahut duhela na janu kidhar girega lag gaya pavan ka rela the way a leaf falls away from the tree branch who knows where it will land will it be found again 
when a gust of wind carries it away. Jab hove umar puri, jab chute hukum huzuri, jam ke doot bade mazboot lag gya. Jam se pada jamela. When this time comes to a close, when hukum uh, huzuri, it's interesting, I don't know how we should interpret that, it's open. But unke hukum se kuch chal raha hai, aur wo chhoot jata hai. Maybe that's what he is referring to. Jam ke doot bade mazboot, the harbingers, the messengers of death or change or transition are really strong. They are tough bouncers who come to haul you away <laughs> just when you are beginning to have fun. Jam se pada jhamela. You are in a tangle with death. Das kabir har ke gun gaave wa har ki to paar na paave. I need some light. Guru ki karni guru jayega chele ki karni chela. So he says, uh, huh? Nay, nay. Uh, Kabir says, I am singing the glory of that Hari who is beyond any limits or form. He's beyond parallel. And then he ends by saying ominously, Guru ki karni, Guru jayega, chele ki karni chela. Don't think you can hitch your saddle. Uh, your cart onto some guru's buggy and hope to get, get across. If you don't do the work you need to do, then the guru will go where he needs to go or she needs to go based on her action and you'll go where you need to go based on yours.
possible <laughs> don't even can you do it little more if you don't mind do it little more no i'll do it again for you tomorrow you know because i have a very challenging song coming up next and i'm going to um, beg the indulgence of this audience because it feels like home this is my third satsang here i have never sung this next song and i'm going to attempt it बिकॉज आई एम एट द मोमेंट वो फितूर चढ़ा हुआ है सिर पे सवार है ये ये गाना बट आई कॉन्ट क्लेम टू नो इट टू वेल बट आई रियली नीड टू रीड दिस सॉन्ग सो आई वुड प्रिफर बिकॉज इट्स अ बाउल सॉन्ग इफ यू कैन जस्ट या प्लीज डू आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू सिंग दिस सॉन्ग टूडे आई रियली वॉन्टेड टू सिंग इट बिकॉज it's just a very powerful image or aaj subah ravi we were talking about ramakrishna paramhams this was one of ramakrishna paramhams's favorite songs unki ek choti kitab hai usme ye hai it's by a poet a bhakti poet from bengal called ram prashad this is perfect I hope I don't light up by the end of the concert and go up in flames. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, and I'm going I'm going to end on space on nothingness. So I should just bhasam karo and disappear from <laughs> from
from the stage. Okay. Just see this image. It just caught my heart when Parvati sang this uh, at the concert we did recently in Delhi. Ram Prashad is saying, Shamama. Shamama is Goddess Kali. Unache. Oh, there are some Bengalis in the audience, so I'm going to be pilloried after this for my pronunciation. Um, Shamama, Amar, Shamama, Urache, Ghuri. My Goddess Kali is flying kites in the sky. Urache, Ghuri is kite. E bhavho shangshare, in the middle of this bhav sansar, in this, the sky becomes a big bhav sansar in which these kites are flying. And she says, Sheje mon ghurie asha vayu. She is flying these kites, goddess Kali, and the kites are buffeted by the winds of hope. Bhan hai maya dodi. And she's tied them down firmly with a dori of maya. Okay. So as Parvati put it, she lets go a little bit and then she pulls it back. <laughs> then she lets go a little bit and then she pulls it back. Then she says, Ka gondi mondi gatha tahe ponja radhi nari. And these kites have the shape and form of skulls. Okay. Sheguri Shogune Nirman Kora Karigori Baravari. And Goddess Kali herself has crafted each kite with great care and skill. And each kite looks like a grinning skull. Bishoe Meje Che Manja Kor Kosha Kore Che Guri. Bishoe, Vishe, Vishe Vas. Now, all your cravings and your carnal desires and your greed, your lust, your attachment. That's what is mixed into that deadly manja. <laughs> okay? That fatal, lethal manja is of this, of attachment and lust and all these things that we are afflicted with and ahankar. And Sheguri uh, Lokhe Tuta Ekta Duta Ekta Kate Ma. So she says, of all these kites, one or two break free, okay? And go off into the sky. And when Goddess Kali sees that happen, she claps her hands and jumps for joy. She doesn't want to keep us tied, you know. Ram Prashad bole ma, tomar dokhin batash pele. Ram Prashad says, oh mother, if your, your loving wind, southern wind, had touched my kite, my kite would have gone racing across this Bhav Sagar a long time ago. It would have broken free. So.
Possibly the most elusive element that few of us manage to touch and feel comfortable with. So one of the ways in which sound, uh, space can be experienced is through sound. It's when Nad fills empty space that there is an echo and you get a sense of space. Maybe that's why uh, Kabir and uh, keeps inviting us to listen. Sunta hai guru gyani gagan mein awaz hove jini jini. So there is a reference to the sky in Kabir, the gagan, which is a space of emptiness a space of limitlessness, a space without huds or borders. 
And it's also to be experienced here in the inside of our skulls, according to yogic philosophy. Right here, this is the Gagan. So this song from Kutch invites us to experience the, the experience of this empty sky. And there is an experience of that emptiness. Gaganma, Jyot Jalanth hai, Enu Akhand Bhayo Ujivalo. Gaganma, in this sky dome, in this sky, there is an undivided light that's radiating. Ari Gaganma, Baja Baje, Enu Jhinu Jhinu Ajhankaro. In this sky, an instrument plays. Maybe this instrument, playing in breath, out breath, in breath, out breath. Enu jinu jinu ajhankaru. And it makes a very, very subtle sound. Meditation might invite us to uh, experience or listen to many of these sounds. Maharo Ram Rameche Rangaro, Kabir says, in this sky, my Ram plays in many colors. Maharo Pirbhu Rameche Niradharo, my God, plays here with no. Adhar, no form, label, name, structure, framework. And Guru Mukha Ginyani Satguru Aage Tiya Mati Jai Jamka Pherare Sadho. Kabir says, I turned my face to this Guru, to this wisdom. I stepped out of cycles of love and loss. Kahe Kabir sa suno bhai sadho, eva anghadiya tirat kone bharya. Kabir says, listen seekers, who, which one of you sought to fill water from this formless pilgrimage place? Anghadi Atirat, Atirat Sthan right here in our bodies.
Say something somebody wants to share. It's ironic that I say that when I've ended the satsang on the line, Mukh par kahyo nahi jai. It cannot be spoken about. So sometimes I think it's best not to. Thank you, Veer and Kinri and all the wonderful loving friends at Vana for creating this mahal, this setting for this satsang this evening. Though I think this lighting will be making me look like a bit of a bhutani. <laughs> Bisalbad type. No? It's really quite beautiful and special. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.